Was it a few raccoon dogs, inside a metal cage and stacked on top of a chicken coop? Or perhaps a lone red fox, curled up in the corner of its cage? Could one of these wild animals have triggered the entire COVID-19 pandemic late in 2019? Over the weekend, an international team of scientists published two extensive papers online, offering the strongest evidence to date that the COVID-19 pandemic originated in animals at a market in Wuhan, China. Specifically, they conclude that the coronavirus most likely jumped from a caged wild animal into people at the Hunan Seafood Wholesale Market, where a huge COVID-19 outbreak began in December 2019. Scientists who weren't involved in the research papers are calling the new data very convincing and a blow to the lab leak theory that the virus somehow escaped from the Wuhan Institute of Virology, which does research on coronaviruses. In reaction to the papers, they say the newly published data is tipping the scales toward wildlife salt at the market. The studies don't exclude either hypotheses entirely, says virologist Jeremy Camille, who's at Louisiana State University Health Shreveport and was not involved in this research. But they absolutely are pushing it toward an animal origin. Neither of the papers provides the smoking gun, that is, an animal infected with the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus at a market. But they come close. They provide photographic evidence of wild animals, which can be infected with and shed SARS-CoV-2, sitting in the market in late 2019, such as raccoon dogs and a red fox. What's more, the caged animals are shown in or near a stall where scientists found SARS-CoV-2 virus on a number of surfaces, including on cages, carts and machines that process animals after they are slaughtered at the market. The papers are preliminary. They still need to be reviewed by outside scientists. But if the analyses turn out to be accurate, the new data paints an incredibly detailed picture of the early days of the pandemic.